Have you ever wondered where the silver in a shiny spoon or a beautiful piece of jewelry comes from? It doesn't just appear out of thin air. It starts its journey deep inside the earth as something called silver ore. Think of silver ore as a special kind of rock that holds tiny precious bits of silver inside it. It's like a treasure chest made of stone, and the silver is the hidden prize. Finding this ore is the very first step in getting the silver we use for so many things. This rock might not look shiny or special at first glance, but it holds a secret that has fascinated people for thousands of years. Silver ore is not pure silver. Instead, it is a mixture of rock and minerals that contain silver. The silver is often chemically bonded with other elements, sulfur chlorine. To get the pure silver out, the ore has to be mined, crushed, and then heated to very high temperatures. Silver ore is not found just anywhere on the planet. It is concentrated in specific locations where the conditions were just right for it to form. Major silver-producing countries today include Mexico, Peru, China, Poland. In these places, miners dig deep into the earth to follow veins of ore. These veins are like long, thin ribbons of silver-rich rock that snake through other less valuable rock layers. Sometimes these veins can be very rich, containing a high percentage of silver. Other times the silver is spread out in tiny amounts through a huge volume of rock, making it harder to extract. The formation of silver ore is a fascinating natural process that takes millions of years. It usually begins with hot, mineral-rich water moving deep within the Earth's crust. This water, heated by magma far below the surface, is called a hydrothermal fluid. As this super-hot water flows through cracks and fissures in the rock, it dissolves different minerals including silver. As this hot silver-bearing water rises closer to the cooler surface of the Earth, it begins to lose heat. The change in temperature and pressure causes the dissolved minerals to come out of the solution and solidify. Over immense periods of time, layer upon layer of these minerals build up, forming a solid vein of ore. When you picture silver ore, you might imagine a gray rock with shiny silver streaks. While that is sometimes true, silver ore can actually come in many different forms and colors. The most famous type is native silver which is silver in its pure metallic form. It can look like silvery threads branching tree-like shapes or solid nuggets embedded in rock. Finding native silver is quite rare and it is highly prized by collectors. However, most of the world's silver is not found as native silver. It is usually found combined with other elements, most commonly sulfur. When silver and sulfur combine, they form a mineral called argentite. Argentite is the most important ore of silver. Surprisingly, it doesn't look very silvery at all. It is typically a dull, dark gray or black color and can be quite soft. You could easily mistake it for a lump of lead or a common boring rock. It's only after the smelting process removes the sulfur that the brilliant silver metal is revealed, hidden within the dark mineral. Once silver is extracted from its ore, it becomes one of the most useful and versatile metals we have. One of its most well-known uses is in jewelry and silverware. Because pure silver is very soft, it is usually mixed with a small amount of another metal like copper to make it stronger. This mixture is called sterling silver. You can recognize it by the 925 stamp, which means it is 92.5% pure silver. But silver's value goes far beyond its beauty. It is an excellent conductor of electricity, even better than copper. This property makes it essential in the world of electronics. Your smartphone, laptop, television, car, all contain small amounts of silver. It is used in circuit boards, electrical contacts, switches to ensure that electricity flows reliably and efficiently. In addition to its electrical talents, silver has another amazing quality. It is a powerful natural antimicrobial. This means it can kill bacteria, fungi, other germs. For this reason, silver is increasingly being used in medicine and healthcare. It can be woven into bandages to help prevent wound infections. Silver is a metal with a rich past, but its future looks even brighter. One of the most important future uses for silver is in renewable energy, specifically in solar power. A special silver paste is used to create conductive lines on photovoltaic cells. Conductive lines capture sunlight and convert it into electricity. As the world moves towards cleaner energy sources to combat climate change, the demand for solar panels is skyrocketing. The saying, every cloud has a silver lining might have a literal origin. For many years a practice called cloud seeding used a compound called silver iodide to help create rain in dry areas. Silver's history is full of fascinating facts. Did you know that the word for money in many languages like argent in French is derived from the Latin word for silver, argentum? This is why silver's chemical symbol is ag, 
Additionally, the ancient Egyptians believed that the bones of their gods were made of silver and their skin was made of gold. As we look ahead, the importance of silver ore will only continue to grow, the challenge will be to mine it responsibly and to become better at recycling it from old products. The humble rock known as silver ore is more than just a source of shiny trinkets. It is a key ingredient for a healthier, more sustainable and technologically advanced future for all of us.